Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass on the first Sunday of Lent, beginning our sacred journey of preparation for Easter. And as we prepare ourselves for this sacred and saving encounter with our Lord, we call to mind our need of his mercy and ask for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, The priest shall take the pannier from your hand and lay it before the altar of the Lord your God. Then, in the sight of the Lord your God, you must make this pronouncement. My father was a wandering Aramaean. He went down into Egypt to find refuge there, few in numbers. But there he became a nation, great, mighty and strong. The Egyptians ill-treated us. They gave us no peace and inflicted harsh slavery on us. But we called on the Lord, the God of our fathers. The Lord heard our voice and saw our misery, our toil and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with mighty hand and outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs and wonders. He brought us here and gave us this land, a land where milk and honey flow. Here then I bring the first fruits of the produce of the soil that you, Lord, have given me. You must then lay them before the Lord your God and bow down in the sight of the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shelter of the Most High, and. Uh... 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Scripture says, The word that is the faith we proclaim is very near to you. It is on your lips and in your heart. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, who is rich enough, however many ask for his help. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit through the wilderness, being tempted there by the devil for 40 days. During that time, he ate nothing, and at the end, he was hungry. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to turn into a loaf. But Jesus replied, Scripture says man does not live on bread alone. Then leading him to a height, the devil showed him in a moment of time all the kingdoms of the world and said to him, I will give you all this power and the glory of these kingdoms, for it has been committed to me and I give it to anyone I choose. Worship me then and it shall be yours. But Jesus answered him, Scripture says you must worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Then he led him to Jerusalem and made him stand on the parapet of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here, for scripture says, he will put his angels in charge of you to guard you. And again, they will hold you up on their hands in case you hurt your foot against a stone. But Jesus answered him, it has been said, you must not put the Lord your God to the test. Having exhausted all these ways of tempting him, the devil left him to return at the appointed time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We may not always think of it like this, but Lent is an extremely joyful time of the year. It's a period where we give ourselves radically over to prayer and clearing out anything in our hearts and in our lives that might be getting in the way of our relationship with our Lord. The 40 days that we spend in preparation for the pinnacle of our faith, which is Easter, 
is modeled directly on Jesus' 40 days of fasting and prayer in the desert before he begins his public ministry. Jesus is led there by the Spirit, and so likewise, as we enter our 40-day preparation, we have the companionship the guide, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit himself. What can be of deep comfort to us is that Jesus doesn't use the power of his divinity to help him through those struggles, but chooses to enter the struggle using only his humanity, which needs to be a source of great inspiration for us because we weak and fickle humans know how inconstant we are and how often we fail at even keeping the simplest Lenten resolutions. If human means were enough for God himself, then they're enough for us. But we also know likewise that we're not on our own in Lent. So as we enter this period, let's look, what are those parts of our life that are getting in the way? Where am I putting things in front of God? It might be activities, it might be material goods, it might even be other people. And so we ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, show me where I can give more. Show me where my heart is closed. And I trust that you will give me the grace so that I will love you more and be able to receive the superabundant graces that you want to give at Easter. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we begin these 40 days, let us reflect on what we need. That nations care for those who must face the wilderness of poverty and homelessness. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are preparing for baptism may persevere in their desire to enter the waters of rebirth. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathered here today be faithful during these 40 days of preparation for Easter through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we confess on our lips that Jesus is Lord. Hear our prayers that we may serve you more faithfully. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast to the pattern of our Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Oh. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my Lord. roof, but Lord, only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home through prayer, messages and financial support. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow Him.